Hi, my name is Mr. Latteru. I'm an instructor over here at Greater Lawrence Technical High School. Uh, I teach a, a shop that is called Machine Tool Technology. Uh, what is Machine Tool Technology, you're thinking right away, because uh, we're one of the best kept secrets in the uh, United States and the world. Um, machine Tool Technology works with metals, plastics, uh, and, and all kinds of different materials. And chances are, we've uh, run, you've run across a million things that have been made by a machinist and you don't know it. Uh, let's try and envision a world without the uh, machine tool technology ever existing. And what kind of world would we be living in? Uh, you would be in a world that doesn't have cars, that doesn't have planes. Uh, you're not going to have these modern buildings with heating systems. You're not gonna have plumbing. You're not gonna have most everything that you know that you see every single day in your life. Machine tool technology either makes the products that you're using or makes the machines or the tools that allow those products to be able to be manufactured for you. So we are something that you don't hear about talked on television very much, but you wouldn't even have a television if it wasn't for machine tool technology. I'm going to uh, take you guys uh, through a quick little uh, walk through the shop. Uh, just to show you a couple of the different types of machines that we would be using and that you would learn uh, some introductory skill level and be able to go out and get a job, hopefully uh, a high paying job and very successful. Uh, and you would be able to get um, a manufacturing position where you'll be able to take care of yourself for the best rest of your life and be able to afford to get through some of the, the hardest times that, that we have going from a uh, a teenager to an adult and trying to figure out what do I want to do with the rest of my life. I for one believe that machine tool technology is an excellent answer to that question. It is a uh, very interesting, very challenging trade that's a lot of fun and also pays a very good wage so that you'll be able to take care of you and your family the rest of your life. So. Uh, without any more ado, I'm going to take a quick walk and just show you some of the equipment that we would be using out in the shop. Three. Okay, so uh, one of the machines that you would be uh, getting a little bit of, uh, of an education on how to use is what's called a manual milling machine. It's called a manual milling machine because it's really dependent upon the operator to have a high level of skill to be able to make this machine be able to make many of the uh, jobs and, and parts that people uh, would want to purchase uh, for particular reasons. Um, machine parts or medical parts or whatever. So this is one that really requires a lot of, a lot of manual skill and it really takes a long time to become a uh, skilled uh, person to be able to run one of these machines. Um, we'll get a little bit of an introduction to this because um, you're going to have uh, some time to, to be able to work on it, but there's so many things that we want to teach you. Um, you're going to have uh, just a little area here and, and doing some other things. And I'll show you some of the other machines we're going to be working on. Fun. Okay, over here we have a uh, what's called a lathe. Uh, we call it a TL1. Um, and this is a part manual machine and a part what we call CNC machine. A CNC machine is something the CNC acronym means Computer Numerically Controlled. We'll get into that uh, at a later time. Uh, this has a little bit of electronics, and then it has some where you just do things by hand and you move it. And you're going to put round materials in here normally, and you would make some kind of uh, a part that's probably going to end up being round. Uh, this requires a little bit less skill than the manual milling machine, but this still requires good amount of time and effort in order to be able to become a, a competent and, and uh, resourceful uh, person running this machine. So these we will be introduced to and utilize some of these to do some projects as well. One. Okay, this is a, a milling machine as well, but it looks a lot different than the first milling machine that I showed you. This is what's called a CNC milling machine. A CNC milling machine, as we had talked, at the other machine is a computer numerical controlled machine. 
If you look at this machine real quick, you'll see that it has no handles. And that's because it is run very high tech. Okay, so this is what we would be calling advanced manufacturing. Uh, our advanced manufacturing is all things that require computers and uh, software and a lot of technical uh, know-how in order to get these running. So uh, you guys will be working on these a lot. Uh, you can do some really cool projects on these. Uh, I would have you guys uh, hopefully get to a point where you're able to design and manufacture some type of a part that you can dream up, that you really want to make. And, and you get yourself an education at the same time. So you come in, it's kind of a, a really good hobby shop uh, where you can make some really cool things for yourself or and you get a great education out of it so that you can actually take that skill and turn that into a very successful paycheck for yourself to take care of yourself later on in life. Uh, so this is a very important machine in what you would be uh, learning. Uh, so this is uh, something that you you want to read up on or, or, or get interested in if, if you want to choose this shop. You really want to know about this. Okay guys, this is uh, called a five axis machine here. This is very advanced. This is some of the newest machines that there are out in industry. Um, this, this is a different kind of a table. It can turn on, it, on its side either way. It, it can do all kinds of things. Is, um, it, it, it's so complicated, I can't even show you right now because the doors are open and these machines can't run with the doors open. But they can do some incredible things. Uh, so. This machine here is uh, something that hopefully you would end up, after you've got some uh, years of experience, you would end up actually going out in industry and hopefully turning into this type of a, of a piece of equipment as your everyday piece of equipment. Um, this is highly advanced stuff and uh, so uh, you would get a, a slight introduction to it and uh, that's uh, something that you would have to work on. Uh, later on in industry because it takes a long time before you're actually qualified to run this type of equipment. Um, so uh, hopefully you guys someday get a chance to do that. Okay, and this is the last machine we're going to take a look at. This is called a CNC lathe. Now it's much like the lathe that we saw earlier that is partly run manually, partly run by CNC controls. This lathe runs completely by CNC controls. There is no handles for the, anyone to be able to move things by hand. It's all done by uh, drawings on computers, software, we make programs, and then the programs are loaded into the machine and they make this thing run automatically, just like the CNC milling machines are. So there's a lot of technological know-how that you need in order to be able to get this. So, you know, this is a, uh, a machine that can do milling and turning in the same machine. So this is kind of a cool, it's called live tooling. And uh, so this is something that um, would be a lot of a challenge also to be able to run. So this, this would also take, uh, you would be considered an advanced student to be able to get into running this type of a, a machine. Um, so uh, hopefully, you know, you guys learn uh, the, the basics to be able to get into these things and, and you'll be on your way to maybe someday uh, being a guy who programs a whole row of these machines and, and makes all the decisions on how to do things uh, and we can get you started on that path so that's what we want to do here in machine tool technology we want to give you the ability to be able to have a path a career path that you can decide which way you want to go uh, I would take a moment to remind you that not only the skills not only will be usable in machine shop we have very transferable skills in our trade. You can learn things and take them into a different job. Um, sometimes people leave the machine shop trade and they actually go and they become engineers. Uh, you could become a QC, which is a quality control engineer. Uh, and that's just basically taking the knowledge that you have here and bringing it into an inspection room environment where you just check parts that other people made. So you may not have enjoyed making the parts yourself, but you may enjoy checking them and making sure that they came out correctly. So that's another trade route. There's all kinds of branches to this trade that you can go out and do. Uh, another one would be these machines are called CNC. You could become a CNC repair technician. 
that is you would be able to go out and fix these machines. So you'd be like a mechanic, okay? But you're fixing not cars necessarily, you're going to be fixing CNC machines. And that's another great job. Or you could become a, um, a um, geez, programmers, uh, programming, you'll just do work on, on computers and make programs for the guys that work on these machines. So the ability to become many, many different uh, jobs uh, and career paths all come from this shop. So uh, there's so much opportunity here that I hope you guys are willing to take a good, long, hard look at machine tool technology as your choice of shops when you come in and make your decisions where you're going to go at GLTS. Uh, I hope that I see you guys here in the shop and uh, I'm going to say goodbye and good luck.